Have you ever thought about how you could end up in a big cover art placement with your favorite rapper or artist? Well, if you do, and your favorite rapper happens to be Central C, then I might just have lived your dream. But wait, that's not it. Now you might just think about why do you tell me this? Well, there's this simple but effective workflow that you can apply today. So out of my own experience in this niche, I will be giving you three tips so you can do the same just like I did. And don't forget to watch till the end for one more extra tip. And if you work real hard for it, you might just get your cover art to your favorite artist. So as you know now, I created art for the Central C mixtape. The process started with understanding the vibe and aesthetic Central C wanted for his mixtape. The key was to create something that resonated with his music and persona. All right. After I checked his recent Instagram posts, all I saw was yellow everywhere. So that brings us to point one. Let's dive oh, oh in. My God. Central C is one of the biggest names in the rap game right now, but at the time he wasn't that popular just yet. It was really after the mixtape he dropped Doja and it blew up. My bitch is gay. gay. So how did I end up working on one of the hottest mixtapes in the UK of the year? Stick around to find out. One of the priorities you must have working for an artist, not just for famous ones, is research. I can't stress this enough, you must know if there's like a color theme or style someone sticks to. Let's say the artist loves his anime, Nani? but you create something different. Now because of that lack of research, you are already 1-0 behind on the competition. If you know hypothetically speaking, Travis Scott is dropping a project and he tees it with soon, what is your next step? Wait, make art, DM him, email him? The absolute first step is go truff his Instagram and see if you can sense a pattern a theme, just something that he didn't do before. But in reality, you fucking stalk him. What? Anyways, with that information, depending on if there's posts, you either wait if there's not, and if there is, you go trough the process of concept thinking for an artwork going off the theme of the artist. This brings us to point two. Connections. So connections is a vital part, depending on your success, but to hook into point one, if you know something is about to come, you have to do research. Go search for their manager, A&R's fuck it. Search their neighbors on Instagram, email, or anything. Let's say you can't find anything of anyone in their circle. I'm very sorry. For the inconvenience of me not keeping up. Get the fuck out of my Joking, joking, that's when you go blind mode, post your design, tag them, and put hashtags with the project and artist, and hope they notice. If anything, email the label of the artist, even the merch support email. So let's say you did find contact info, what do you do then? Well, nice you ask. What I did with Central C is, I found the email of his manager and sent it the same day. Take quick action, don't wait. I sent an email of a high quality version of the design. My ad to be credited with, and in general, a good short mail. Don't overcomplicate, get to the point. I didn't do it back then because I didn't have portfolio yet, but add your portfolio. If you want to know how to create a portfolio properly, let me know and I will create the video about it. Anyway, we'll continue with this one first now. Point three, expectations. Do not expect anything. Expectations ruin you mentally. Of course, you can be excited for something, but keep in mind and listen real good. Let it down your they don't need you, you need them, and they know that. So there will always be artists taking advantage of us creatives. Yes, it's fucked, but that's how it is. On the other hand, there's a positive side. Having a placement on a big artist, you can gain other client work for smaller artists, because everyone now saw the style on the work for Central C and want to be just like him. And if not, you will promote the fuck out of it. So more people see it, and all their fans notice it. And there's a big chance there's other artists that are fan of the big artist and most likely reach out. That's the point. You will charge money. Bonus tip, clean profile. So what do I mean with a clean profile? Is it just having five posts? Is it having it all in one theme? No, it's not. It's all about if the profile fits with you. Let's start on your bio. If you have had worked with artists before, put those credits in your bio right now. Pump that credibility up. Second of Trust all, you me. don't want a messy profile. Let's say you have 10 posts and four of them are artworks and six are pictures of yourself. Would you get art of that person? I don't think you would because the person is not busy with his craft. So that is what I mean. You don't need everything in the same color palette, especially if you work with artists with all different vibes. 
profile picture is not that important, but people over time will recognize you for it, so you can either have an artwork on it, or your logo is what I recommend, and make sure everyone can DM you. Side note, it's not wrong to attach your face to your accounts, but you make sure to utilize it well. There's a big difference between just posting a selfie or such, and for example, post a picture in a slideshow where you hold a framed artwork or received a golden plaque for a cover art. Now you might think, Joey, this is all fun and shit, but I have no proof of you actually on the Central Sea project. I can't believe you for your word. Well, people, I will be showing you my art that has been featured. And yes, I changed my name from Joey's Art World to Joey CVA. This is the artwork. And this is at a pop-up store where Central C took pictures in front of the artworks. This is in the actual CD with credits to the artists like myself. And then now on a fucking billboard in the UK. This should be enough. And with this, I hope any of you watching at least learnt one new thing to do now. I would say if you aspire the same things as me, take action. And who knows if you subscribe and share this video, we can help each other to the dream lives. For now, goodbye, and I hope to see you in the next video. I am done. Fuck this shit, bruv.